This is the equity chart of a portfolio based on Turtle Trader strategy. Unfortunately, the strategy doesn't work. Well, you might say, what the heck is the portfolio you just showed me? So I should correct myself. The strategy works, but not in the way that you think. The Turtle Trader strategy is a trend following strategy. It was popularized by Dennis Richard because he brought regular people and he taught them how to trade using this strategy. And in fact, his strategy is laid out clearly in this book by Michael Covell. And this book is what put me on this algo trading path because you can easily program it and see the results of the strategy. Now, the strategy is still being traded by billions of dollars. It's the most popular strategy in the hedge fund industry. So first, I will show you the strategy, how it works, how we can build a portfolio out of it but why it will not work for you. The strategy is extremely simple. It's called trend following because you are usually following the trend. When the price making you high, you are usually following in the footstep of the price and you are buying this high. In the hope that the high will continue to make higher highs. And the same goes for the short side. So when the price makes a new low, then you are shorting that instrument in the hope that the price keep going down making lower low. So here is an example of the strategy applied to the gasoline futures. At the bottom of the chart here, I have the linear regression indicator. So this is the angle of the linear regression. And basically the strategy will buy when the 100 day linear regression angle goes up and we will sell when the 100 day linear regression angle goes down. So you can see when it's up, it's green, when it's down, it's red. This is the equity chart of the performance. And we are making about $240,000, 6 to 1 return to drawdown ratio. And if we look at our average trade, it's about $2,000 and 41% profitable. This is very good for a trend following strategy. This is the annual period analysis since 2007. And as you can see, we are making money most of the years. So now if we optimize this strategy by changing the look back period of the linear regression. So we'll go from 40 to 240 step 10, we will get 21 strategies. And this is the result of the optimization. So if I sort by return to drawdown, you can see that the 100 day look back is the peak. The next best thing is 110 at 172,000. The next best thing is 70, 130, 160, and 80. And here we stumble on the first problem of this strategy, which is picking the look back period. What is the best look back period that will work on multiple markets? Now, in this strategy that I just showed you, we are using the same look back period to enter and exit. Of course, we can change that. And actually, Dennis Richard uses half the look back period for exit. So if you are entering with 100, then you are exiting with 50. So now I will optimize the strategy with the entry look back from 40 to 240 and the exit look back also 40 to 240. So in total, we will have 441 strategies. So these are the results. And if we sort by return to drawdown, now we have a better strategy, which is the look back to entry is 90 and the look back to exit is 100. Again, we see 91.10, 91.90, and so on and so forth. Now, most people will tell you that you need to fix the look back for all the markets in order to make this strategy robust. Of course, I don't fall in that camp, but I will fix the look back and apply the strategy to multiple markets. So out of 72 markets in eight categories, I picked one market from each category. So you can see these are the futures, agriculture, cryptocurrency, energy, equity, meats, metals, and softs. So for the long section, I have soybeans, Bitcoin, Canadian dollar, heating oil, Russell, lean hogs, copper, and sugar. And then for the short side, I changed the Canadian dollar with British pound and the Russell with the VIX index and the copper with the silver. So let's run both of them. Again, the data here since 2006. And this is the result of the portfolio. Of course, the portfolio is doing very well. And we can see the breakdown by symbol. We have the Canadian dollar losing and the lean hog also losing. 
in total this is long and short and then all the other markets are making money now i didn't put the gasoline market because obviously we know it's doing very well so i tried to pick something in the middle the portfolio I just so use 80 look back period for the entry and 40 look back period for the exit for all instruments and that's of course really good because then the strategy is very robust and it's performing on totally different markets the only problem is i picked those markets out of the 72 not because they represent the sector but because they are profitable so here is the same strategy the long side applied to all markets and as you can see not all of them are profitable and here is the same strategy this is the short side on all markets again as you can see not all of them are profitable so what i did actually i picked the best market from each sector that performs well with this strategy which is buying at 80 selling at 40 and that is the second big problem with trend following which is once you pick let's say a stable area for the look back that works on all markets now you need to pick good markets that works with that strategy and of course you have many markets so you need to be lucky to pick the best market now obviously hedge funds they don't depend on luck to perform and make money so what do they do in order to use this strategy the hedge funds use a concept called the rainbow so the rainbow basically it's the look back period adjusted multiple times so here i have the ema which is the exponential moving average with different look back periods and that's why you get this rainbow so obviously this will be a long period probably 200 of course we can change this if you click on this you can see the input here starting from 2 all the way to 200. So remember when I showed you the optimization of the gasoline market where I picked the 100 day as the best one. In this case, I don't need to pick the 100 day as the best one because I will trade all the way from 40 to 240. So I'll trade the 40 look back, the 50, the 60, all the way to 240. So I have the full spectrum of all the curves and I don't need to be lucky to pick the best curve in the future. So using this methodology, you are 100% you will catch any trend in the market you are trading, be it short or long. And then all the curves will actually average to the best equity curve that you can trade on this market. Okay, so I showed you a good portfolio producing good results and I showed you the solution. So now why I am saying this will not work for you or for me? The reason is you need good infrastructure and also you need lots of capital because imagine if you let's say you want to trade 50 strategies 50 lookbacks per market and you need let's say 50 markets in order to have some trends so 50 times 50 that's 2500 strategies each strategy needs capital to trade so if you do the math you can easily reach 50 million dollars as a capital requirement to run a trend following portfolio now there are multiple variables here that i didn't show you which is position sizing picking market based on momentum and so on and so forth but still at least at least you will need five million dollars to run a proper trend following portfolio and for all those reasons outlined you are much better running a short-term strategy portfolio than a long term which is trend following portfolio to learn more about trend following watch this video and i will see you there